Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry it's a little dark right now. I will get the light situation in a bit, but I just wanted to let you guys know this is going to be a quarantine vlog. I know I haven't done these since the actual shutdown last year, but this year or it's a little different. We are actually quarantining because my husband has COVID and today is day one. He got his test results yesterday. He's been sick for a few days. He's got his test results yesterday. Got We got them to our respective workplaces and so my working at a school of course I was told go ahead and quarantine too. So today is day one and I will catch you up and give you a little bit of an update later. I didn't get up not too long ago. Had a quick breakfast coffee. Still in the jammies, but I'm going to shower, look presentable, and get moving with my day at home. And I will catch you up in a little bit on what all's going on and just how it's going quarantining with the Rona. So there you go. Okay, so while the tea is steeping, I am going to catch you guys up about this whole quarantine corona situation with my husband. Um, so it started on Monday, today when I'm filming this. This is Friday, February 5th. His symptoms first showed up on Monday. I was at work so I didn't know until I got home um, and he'd been working from home at the time so um, he was on one of his breaks and was able to come tell me. And he, w he was feeling really, really bad then, so he asked his boss if he could leave a little bit early to go get tested. And so then we took him to get tested that night, sent, and they tested him for everything. They tested for flu, that came back negative, so then it was, okay, wait a couple days till you get your, until you get your COVID-19 results. And so with that, he had a few days off while we waited on results and I was still going to work because I wasn't showing symptoms it wasn't me getting tested so I was still going to work and then um, his test results should have come Wednesday we missed we missed the courier by that much to get the results back um, overnight on the Tuesday so we should have gotten them Wednesday he's been during that time you know getting worse and worse more and more feverish sweats you know, all of that good nasty stuff. And then on Wednesday, he didn't get the results. And he called them. They didn't have them. They said try again tomorrow. All that. So he finally got them on Thursday. And, you know, right away I told work. And now I'm in quarantine with him too. Today's Friday. Last night was probably the worst of it. I'm hoping, hoping it was the worst of it because he had the chills, the nausea, and all of that. It was gross. We were up several hours in the middle of the night. I was originally going to work from home today to make it a little bit easier on, on the students and on my staff and everything at work just to kind of help out, but I contacted my boss in the middle of the night last night and just said, there's no way with this little sleep that I can do this tomorrow and you know they were very very gracious about it they understood completely this is no joke that brings us to today and I just got up this morning um, sent in my sub plans real quick and we were both pretty exhausted he's been doing a lot better so he finally was able to get some sleep in we've been staying on track with his medications, fluids, all, all the things that you're supposed to do. We're doing it. He's getting up and walking around some. We were going to go walk outside, but it's pouring rain, nasty gross. So walking around the house and he started to get back a little taste and smell. So hopefully he can enjoy food a bit more too. That's a good sign. And we're just waiting it out. My two main goals right now are keep him healthy and then keep me healthy. I'm going to go check on my tea. I think that's enough. I think you guys are caught up. Um, currently we're both scheduled to go back to work on the 15th. That'll be right after the two week mark so we should both be good. I know I will have to make sure I have a negative COVID test to go back 
him probably as well. We have to double check on that, but one thing at a time. <laughs> It's day three of quarantine, I guess. It's the morning, I just woke up a little while ago. Um, it's been almost a week since my husband first started showing symptoms, and I feel much worse today. I know I didn't update y'all about the rest of the day yesterday. I'll catch it up at some point, but I had like, deep chest cough, very sore throat, and just generally feel drained. As of this morning, I didn't have a fever though, but I just don't feel good. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry you can hear, um, you might can hear a little bit of the washing machine in the background, so reality. I'm continuing with the quarantine vlog. Today is Monday the 8th? Yes. Today is Monday the 8th, and I'm just, I'm working from home today. I've still got a little bit of the cough, but I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm working from home, teaching my classes. I'm on my break right now, so I figured I would jump in real quick and just catch you guys up. He's doing a little bit better today, but one day at a time, bit by bit, and like I said, I'm working from home, still have the cough, a little bit of sore throat, but no fever, so that's where we're at today on... Saturday afternoon. Um, I was real tired and didn't get to catch you guys up. I think after the shower, my parents came. No. Hang on, what happened Saturday? It's a little fuzzy because I felt very blah for the past couple days. But on Saturday, my parents came, did a porch drop, gave us some um, homemade lasagna that my mom had made in the crock pot, which was awesome. And they took our trash for us, um, which was really good because we can't we can't take that off to the to the dump site right now because we're quarantined. So they did that for us and that was great. And then my mom brought us some lunch yesterday too. So that was good to get to see them. I was telling my mom it's very weird to be on the on the other side of those pictures. You're always seeing on the internet of someone talking to somebody from the outside looking in while they're quarantined inside. It was very weird to be on the inside of glass door looking out at my mom talking to her. Um, but it was good to see her. I think we're about to hit spin cycle, so I'll finish this in a bit. Alright, sorry about that. I don't know exactly where I left off. Um, Saturday. After I basically just had kind of like lazy around morning, which was really good and what I needed because I was feeling tired. I don't remember what all I vlogged now because like I said, I was in a fog, so I'll check it later and do all that. But my parents came, brought us the lasagna, took the trash. Then after that, we did like showers and got ourselves ready to go for a little bit and we tried to go for a little walk outside just to keep ourselves moving and do all of that that you're supposed to do and it started to rain so we came in and just walked back and forth in the house and had a little conversation and that was that yesterday sunday i was starting to feel really bad we didn't know we could tell my body was like at the peak fighting it and it was trying to decide am i going to be sick or not luckily he was starting to feel better so that allowed me to try to kind of just relax and take care of me a little bit and we had afternoon tea together he could hardly taste it a little bit but he's starting to get some of his taste back and it was good and I don't mean like sitting right beside each other or anything like that we just happened to have tea and conversation um, but it was good and we went ahead and divided the house basically in half. So he has his half the house, I have my half. Um, we both have a separate bathroom. He's sleeping in the living room. I'm not going to show it to you right now because it looks a mess because between being sick and having everything pushed to the side with the blow up mattress, maybe, maybe when we tidy it up a bit I'll show you, but we've got a situation happening in there. 
um, with the air mattress that's worked out pretty good so that he's nearer to that bathroom and I'm in the master and my bathroom and generally the dining room and the kitchen's kind of like the neutral zone where we can both go to get stuff and we've just got you know I'm going to try not to show brands but we've got wipes that we've been using everything and we've got this stuff to spray everything down and now that he's starting to feel better I'm trying to do like I was doing some cleaning but I'm trying to do a little bit more to make sure now that we're on the up and up we don't get re-sick from exposure to old germs anything like that and I'm just trying to not work any extra I usually have a go get them attitude so when I start work I'll be like work 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 I'm trying to know when it's my when it's my planning period which is what I'm doing now I'm just taking a complete break I'm not doing any of the extra little stuff I would normally do just because I'm still not completely well and I've got to get better and I think on Thursday is the day I'll go to get tested to see if my results come back negative so that I can return to work the following week. So that's where we are. And that's what's happening. If I get it together, I'll try and update you guys again this evening. Okay, YouTube, I just finished my last class for the day and I am exhausted. During the class before last, I crashed. Sorry for the glare. I crashed really, really hard. And now I'm exhausted, so I am going to go wash my face. And and like I've tried, I took some B vitamins. I took, I ate a little bit of like some a pudding snack to try and boost me back up. I drank a whole glass of water. Now I'm trying a little ginger ale. Nothing. So I'm just going to go lay down and go to bed until until it's time for me to cook. Hey YouTube! I don't even know what day of quarantine this is, but it is Tuesday, February 9th, um, as far as days of the week goes, and I'm on my break between classes. I'm completely exhausted today. I didn't even finish vlogging yesterday. Yesterday time I dismissed my last class of students, I came and got in the bed and slept from 3 to 6. And the only reason I woke up then is because my husband, who had heard nothing out of me for a while, came to the door to ask a question about what type of sauce I wanted with the pasta last night. And so then I was like, okay, I'm going to do it because I'd planned to just like lay down and rest a little while then get up and cook dinner and he's in there already cooking it. It's like, oh, okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. But I was so disoriented. But it was, whoa, sorry, a good little rest. But I've realized that even though I don't feel as actively sick, my body is still definitely fighting this thing. So I'm going to lay down now and rest until I have to get up and eat lunch and continue to work. My hair looks crazy. I accidentally fell asleep with it still wet last night. I got up after dinner and I took a shower and went back to bed. So trying to rest, trying to heal, that's what I'm going to do now. <clears throat> Excuse me, still have cough. Very bad, but that's okay. And I'm going to rest and then just continue with the school day and try to literally do not much extra. Maybe some sanitizing. Um but not much extra because I've got to get well. That way I can go get tested. That way I can return to work. Hey YouTube, I forgot to do a update for today. It is already Wednesday evening. It's after five. Um, it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day. Um, Alex is in the clearing out process of his recovery, but that just means his Coughs sound way worse, and he coughed so hard one time as he's been clearing everything out that um, it actually made him um, sick. So that happened, um, and then he slept the rest of the day, which was exactly what he needed to do. But as far as my symptoms, I still have bad cough, no fever, even forgot to take medicine a couple times, no fever. Um, still some slight body aches, maybe a little headache, but I think that's more from stress of everything going on. But as of right now, I'm okay, unless you can count general grumpiness as a symptom, because that has been my mood today is grumpy. And I think it's just 
stress compounded with me coughing and trying to get better and all of that kind of thing at the same time. So it's no one's fault. It just is what it is, as they say. Um, we just went for a little walk outside, so to get him moving a bit, and then we're going to work on dinner and just go from there. My dad and brother went to go get tested today because my brother started to not feel so good, I think, last night, so hoping that they don't have it now, but waiting to see, too. Okay, so this is going to be take two. I know you guys don't know this, but I just did this whole spiel onto my phone, and it was not recording. So, we're going to try this now. Um, yesterday I didn't get to update you guys because it was just so, so crazy busy, because during my normal break, I had a, not a parent-teacher conference, that's today, I'll hit you up in a minute. Um, I had a professional development, and then later I also had to get tested, which DHEX website was super great. I registered ahead of time, had my QR code, so when I went through the drive through site, they scanned it, swabbed you, off you go, they would give you a work note if you needed it, it was great. Um, as far as getting everything done quickly. Um, but between that, I was, I needed to get tested because I have to have a negative test to return to work, right? But I was actually also feeling just really, really bad. Like, I've still been coughing. I'm trying to hold it back now while I'm talking to you guys. And it, it's just been tough. So I was completely exhausted, fell asleep early, didn't get to update this yesterday. Now I am currently hiding in the bathroom to do this because everywhere else you can hear the dishwasher running because that's reality. And I've got about an hour break right now. I have a case of the weekend, so all I want to do is goof off and do fun things. But it's a half day for students, real day for us, because it's parent-teacher conference day. So um, in about an hour, I've got my first conference. I know you'll see this in the future, but wish me luck. Because um, I'm doing parent-teacher conferences from home while sick. And with my husband sick in the background. Yay! But that it, it is what it is. It's just what we had to do to make things work. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be doing that. And I'm trying to think anything else. We actually have time all this week, next week, sorry. My arm's getting tired. Dedicated to parent-teacher conferences. But today's just for homeroom. Since we've got between all of us, we've got 60 students. We know we couldn't have done that in one day, especially because different parents have different times that they need to meet with us. So we're extending it all through next week, but today is mostly for homeroom. I will catch you up and let you know how it goes. So it's been a couple of days since I updated. Um, this is going to be my last update on this quarantine vlog. Hopefully we won't have to have more quarantine vlogs, but um, this is going to be huh, my last update on this one. <clears throat> it is Monday, February the 15th, President's Day. I don't think I've vlogged anything since Friday, so I need to catch you guys up a bit. Um, we just kind of had a really slow, lazy weekend, which was exactly what we needed to finish up recovering. So there's not a whole lot to tell, so I'll just mention highlights. On Saturday, we got my results back. Um... And they were negative, so that means I can return to work this week. Um, that being said, I still don't feel great. Um, husband still doesn't feel great. Um, I guess even though we're past the point of contagion or whatever, this is just, whew, it's a recovery. Um, I feel... I feel almost like like really bad flu-ish, or I have felt um, the past couple days. It's just been m mostly no symptoms except residual, like coughing, clearing out stuff, and like some body aches. I mean, mine's mostly been... Like, my back hurts from the coughing or, or whatever. Um, Sunday evening, I got, like, a little bit of a fever, but it cleared up 
almost as fast as it came. Like in the space of an hour, I had the fever and then the fever went away. Um, it was already going back down before I even took medicine for it. So we think there's just some residual clearing out stuff. But anyway, we got my results Saturday. I already forwarded them to work. I'm good to come back. Um, and then my mom and dad came where they had done the grocery run for us since we were technically still quarantined. And then we did, we did a tea. I was originally supposed to go with my mom to tea on Saturday at a new tea shop that had opened near us. But we had to cancel those reservations, um, you know, when husband got COVID. So that had happened. So I made some scones and some cupcakes that my mama got me the mix for and some different things like that. So um, Saturday we had tea and I, call, I called it quarantine and I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a picture in for you guys to see it. But it was, it was something to do to change up the weekend a little bit and it was fun. And I mean we were drinking tea with honey at that point anyway to help our throats. I still have a sore throat but I think that's mostly from residual coughing. Um, Sunday was Valentine's Day. We did so very little. So very little. You know, we had we had these grand ideas of what we were going to cook for dinner. And just, it was a lazy day. We watched TV all day and didn't move much and rested. And that's exactly what we needed to get us ready for the work week. And since today is President's Day, I didn't have to go into school. Yay! This is the first time. I think this is the first time. This is my fifth year as a teacher. This is the first time in my five years of teaching that we have not had to have President's Day as an inclement weather makeup day for something. It's crazy, but I'll take it. So I've been using the day to just catch up on some rest. Because like I said, the recovery for this thing is just... Whew, I'm catching up on some rest. I've been drinking my orange juice. I did do some laundry because between him being sick and then me getting sick too, just the laundry had piled up. So I've been doing a little bit of that. And I do have to get my lesson plans and everything ready to go for this coming week. Um, and then maybe take a shower. Those are like my three goals for the day. Laundry, lesson plans, shower. And after that, I'm, I'm done for the day. So. In the future, I will be doing a lessons learned video because there are a lot of lessons that I think could be beneficial to people, not just who get COVID or who have a loved one who has COVID, but for helping people through sicknesses in general. Um, I've learned some stuff, so I'll, I'll definitely share that with you guys. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and be done with the vlog so yeah that's it for now and I will see you guys later